Morning everybody, it's Alex ASC, how are we doing? Ah, uh, it is the weekend, it is Saturday today. It's a nice sunny day outside. Um, bit chilly, well not chilly, bit cold, bit fresh. But to be fair, you know I like the, uh, the cooler weather to the hot weather. So today, it's all right, it's good. Uh, what we got going on? Just finished one, BMW 1 Series for a flip out TV Pioneer Edge unit. And now, We've got this bad boy in. Got to be a bit careful with this because it's packing <coughs> quite a punch. And when I say punch, I mean like 700 volts of punch. We won't be going anywhere near that. Or them orange cables. For fear of me turning into the Jetsons mobile and disappearing across the workshop. Um, I am putting in this one. Stereo sounds gash, but there's not a lot we can do with it because it is built into the dash. That wasn't meant to rhyme, I apologise. It's not turning into Soundman's poets. Um, uh, the dash is obviously all, you know, kind of together. The radio is not really changeable. Um, and it's all linked into this hybrid stuff, so we don't want to touch that. But what we have got is a mad lack of bass. So the speakers in the doors don't sound too bad, but we're going to stick one of these in. An Audison Prima, uh, sorry, not Prima, yes, Prima. Uh, Audison Prima Active 8 inch sub. These things are the tits. If you want a little bit of bass in a car, and not a lot of space taken up, this is the thing to do. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing. Let me grab my knife, my kniff, that the one? Yeah, right. Let's just get you over here where you can see me. Pop you down. Might need to adjust you a little bit. Oop, don't drop you. Right, there we go, you can see me. Right, so the beauty of this thing is A, it's size, B, it's sound, sounds really nice, and it's reversible. So by that, what I mean is, if you're stuck for space, or your boot is very busy, look at that little thing. This thing can actually be mounted upside down. You don't lose any sound. You don't lose any quality. Um, you get these little feet. You get bolts. You get your high level inputs. You get a little base cube like a remote control. And then you've got your sub box. Just carefully open this up. Give it a sound man. Oh, ah, no. <laughs> Look at that. How nice is that? So that is a little eight inch box with an, amp, with an amp built into it, so it's active. So that's all you're gonna have in your boot. It will sit on the feet. You've got these little buns here that you can take out and then you use your supplied hardware, put your little corner, corner sort of feet on and they've even got Velcro so they don't slip around on your carpet. And they will then mount on there, like that. And obviously, slick, on there, like that. So it will mount downwards. So you've got a grill to protect the sub. That will sit in the back of your car like this so you can put stuff on top of it. But it just looks nice and neat and you're just left with the Audison name. Good morning everybody, it's Alex. It is officially a Wednesday and the shop is busy as you can see. We had a snap on visit yesterday, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's just get the chaser outside.
How are we? All good? Weekend was a crazy one. Hope you liked the video. I noticed I got two thumbs down on it pretty much straight away. Well, you know, that's fine. It's not for everyone. But I had a, had a fun time with Dad and uh, the touring car and everything else was all good. So what have we got going on today? Just move this bad boy back. Ah! I was here till late last night getting the old uh, VW finished. A squeaky belt on this one. Right, reverse. It's somewhere around here. Oh. On me there we go all right let's just get this out of the way pulling back a little bit so i got a bit of a vw fest in today i've got paul's beetle back in got to do some headlights some coding to that today um but let's show you the bus which i finally finished um so we've got the pioneer in with a leisure battery and switch out he comes go make sure there's no noise yeah, so so we've got the camera working on this one too which we popped in the tailgate I'll show you that there's the camera new tow electrics new speakers in the bottom there and I've redone all the uh, battery stuff so I mentioned before how dangerous this thing was and actually the customer was lucky enough not to have a fire so we've now got proper connections underneath the car um, they are more like the leisure style type rather than the nut and bolt battery that's going to short out on the on the car itself but this one's now pretty much finished ready to get picked up the guy's coming back off of holiday today so he can have his car back i'm sure he'd be happy now they got some modern cons Um, beetle wise keys so obviously we've done the uh, we already did the stereo in this it's got all the kicker bits and bobs in and today we've got to change the headlights do some uh, coding with the Vagcom got some adapter leads we've got to run in this harness which the instructions are all in German so that'd be fun I'll try and figure that out God, some of this stinks in here not sure whether it's his shoes or what but some it doesn't smell very healthy well that'd be why his subs don't sound very good it's because they're smashing against that that's not going to do any good I have to have a word with him get them to move them out of the way So these are his new headlights going to go in, they've got the DRL indicator, normal light, but we've got to do some coding with the adapter lens, so that'll be a whole host of fun. I say I've got to try and figure out some German instructions, which would be uh, a breeze. <laughs> So pretty much as far as I understand it, take out this, take out that, remove this scuttle. Cable goes from that headlight round here into this headlight, take out the battery tray, run the cable off into the car through a grommet. And then there's a sort of central computer module down underneath there, which I need to code to with the new Vagcom. Uh, <clears throat> so that would be today's job. Um, yeah, had a good time at the weekend. I say I hope you liked the video. 
It was a lot of fun. I was very tired when I got back. Um, and the Lotus gave me a bit of a scare. On the way back on uh, Sunday with dad, I started seeing drops in oil pressure, um, which I was a bit fearful of. Uh, so every time I accelerate, I lost oil pressure. Um, as soon as I let off the acceleration, the oil pressure came back up. I knew the oil level was correct, um, but you know, the history of this car, I was a bit paranoid anyway. So I decided to do a bit of a gauge check on it and we are getting 50 to 60 PSI of oil, which is more than enough. So I think I've got a wiring issue or a gauge issue. So that's, you know, yet to be sorted. Um, over Christmas, I am actually gonna pull the engine back out just because I can. Um, we're gonna change all the hoses, obviously the silicon kit, which is led down there in the box that can finally get done. Um, check the engine, do all the seals. I want to go through the wiring harness and check because uh, I think I've got some issues with the wiring harness somewhere. See if I can get one made or make one myself. If I can find all the plugs, we'll do that. Um, clutch is going back to Helix because I want them to replace the springs inside it because it's too stiff. Um, yeah, go through the sensors of the engine, check if we've got any oil leaks and things like that. Just do a bit of a maintenance check. Obviously we can re recheck the tightening on the belts, make sure they're correct. It's, it's more like a preventative cure to make sure everything is okay and we're not gonna ruin anything before, you know, before I get to have fun with the car. Now it's kind of run in and it's done its thing. Um, we just need to now safeguard it. These are the terminals from that bus. Look at the state of these. These were underneath metal, so obviously as the car bounces, you worry that they're gonna arc out on the car. How they haven't already, I don't know. Um, but, hey, hey. Workshop's a bit of a mess. Um, I did get a chance to clean up some bits and bobs last night. Um, but, you know, works work. So, what have we got? Um, oh, that was my, you know, my little award at Ace Cafe for best wheels on the Lotus. That was what I got, was the London Cartel little, little eight mil and a 10, or a 10 and a 13. 10 and a 13, but that's quite nice. Beats having normal plasticky trophies. Uh, Jody came in yesterday, replaced some tools for me. Um, we've had not, not so much breakages, but the first time I ever used this thing, it rounded straight off. So he's ordered me one of those. Um, these two ones he had on the van. So these have been replaced for me already. I can go back in there, do some tidying up. And new flyer. So there is a new flyer this week. Uh, let's just jump through that quickly. To be honest, there's not much on it. Um, spanners, sockets, there's a cup, um, a cup um, by, the, by the deep sockets and you get some color changing mugs. Um, yeah, some spanners, um, multimeter, long nose, pliers, a torch, um, a thermometer, a digital thermal scope, a rivet gun, um, a tire gauge to measure your tire pressures, some screwdrivers, some torque sets, or torque set, uh, some knives, um, extension ratchet, long, long sort of handle. Uh, extension bars and some different sockets. Um, then you've got a oil drain thread thread repair kit, um, a blue point jack, a suplo jack, a tire pressure gauge, a coolant uh, sorry a, yeah combustion and coolant leak down tester, some new black uh, snap on crew socks, jump pack, radiator tool, and then you've got the offers on boxes, different color combinations, a different starter kit. Um, and then of course, the one thing that is worthwhile mentioning, obviously the breast cancer. Snap-on pink tools are back. So they're doing hats and mugs and socks and screwdrivers and picks and air blowers, a little mini ratchet, swivel head and a normal ratchet. So good for the, good for the breast cancer. Um, but yeah, I didn't buy anything this week. Uh, didn't need to, just get some tools replaced. Um, so I'm going to crack on. This is going to get picked up soon. That's going to get coded and fi fixed and worked on. And then it's it's a bit of a crazy week. We've got a lot going on. Um, I'm lagging. I'm real tired. Um, but I think I got to grips with the software. 
So finally, um, finally getting uh, the levels, I think, on the sound correctly. I've, I've figured out how to adjust all of that now. Um, so we'll have a bit of, you know, a bit of talk and a bit of music and stuff at the same time, which I, which I quite like. Um, again, keen to get your feedback. You know, let me know what you thought, what you, what you, you know, your views on. I noticed I got to say two thumbs down quite quickly. So um, I appreciate my videos aren't for everyone. You may not have liked them, um, but you know, it's a, a day in the life of my car crash. Um, what goes on daily in here, and and you know, so we're gonna keep going we're going to keep doing some bits and bobs and um as more stuff pops up you know the fun fun bits and bobs i shall keep you in touch keep you informed um the lotus i say the engine is going to come back out of it so we are gonna i can do some filming on that and you can see that thing being being lifted and um if you've got any questions about stuff with the lotus you know if you want to know how things work or or see things in detail then give me a shout and i will try and oblige where i can um but i think so far for now that's about it um i've got a, a load of supplier meetings coming out um i've got jazz coming down from hertz um audison four car audio he's coming to see me today um rob from kick is going to pop up and say hello so we'll be doing lots over Christmas, um, lots of lots of things. I'm going to try and do some giveaways. Um, obviously, we're going to get the site monetized, or I want to get the site monetized, or the YouTube channel monetized, um, and and sign up to this Patreon thing, so we can do more fun stuff, you know. Because how-to videos are all fun, but you know you've got to have a bit of messing around, a bit of laughing about as well, um, which I'd like to do, and I think I can be quite funny sometimes. Um, one way or the other, but we'll we'll figure it out. But I will speak to you soon. Bye. Morning, people. It's Alex. It's the Saturday. <clears throat> I'm in work nice and early. Uh, I've had a busy week. Lots of lots of stuff going on. The sun's just well. I say sun. The light somewhere is just starting to come up, so it's not so. Uh, not so black as it was this morning when I came into work. Got some new stuff actually going on. Some new uh, bits and bobs in the display cabinet. Little uh, Marine Sports Hertz amp. Not a bad power output. Uh, so what we got going on? Well, um, I say shop is busy, absolutely busy. Um, I've got weekend off Sunday and Monday because it's my little one's birthday and I'm taking her to Legoland so that should be a blast Good time to spend out with the family um, yeah I've had loads in um, it's literally non-stop I've barely had time to do any kind of filming uh, we didn't have a snap on day this week um, Jody was with the guy who sells the big box van um, obviously there's no point in him coming here so um, I shan't be buying another toolbox. Um, so the big box van, first time it's not actually turned up here and I've, you know, gone on and spent some money. So a shame, but you know, I say Snap-on can't deliver me what I want. So I'm going to go elsewhere. Um, leaves are steadily making their way in. Autumn is happening everywhere. I've made this makeshift fucking puppy pen to try and keep some of the leaves out. Otherwise I just spend up hours and hours and hours blowing out the garage. But we had a little, a little storm last night and by the looks of it, those trees over there that were full yesterday, they're not far off dropping. So hopefully that means it'll stop quite quickly. Um, what else, what else, what else? Had a little late night visit, or well, not visit, but I had to go mobile last night for a mate of mine. Um, Chris managed to stuff his van. Um, so, he hit a tree, avoiding some deers, and I went out there quickly last night and ripped all his equipment out of his car because the insurance company are going to come and take it away. Uh, it was wrapped with police tape and whatnot where they, um, um, where he hit the tree. So it was causing the obstruction, but obviously they don't want people to worry that, you know, there's somebody still or either trapped in the vehicle or unconscious in a field. Um, so yeah, we rescued him last night, got all his equipment out. Um, and yeah, now I've got to clean it up and sort through it all. Um, 
we've got some <laughs> i bought a new tv for home i've got a 55 inch so my old 50 um big old unit i might i might get that down here um we've already got the sky tv up there um obviously the cctv one what i might do is link the sky on that one and put that one on this wall and then put the 50 with a security camera up there because it's nice and big and people can see you know the security system um it's always nice for people to come in and see always nice for me to people to see you know because they don't get any ideas about oh you know i'm going to come in here because he's not protected i want it obvious that there's stuff everywhere so they can see quite easily um but what else what else what else we got going on um oh truck had the truck back yesterday you know it got uh it got damaged um pretty much to the day not far off nearly two months um for the truck that's been in repair the old land cruiser uh, i got a call from the garage yesterday saying that they so yesterday the day before it might have been the day before yesterday say that the car was ready come and get it so i said all right we'll come down and have a look so i took the missus down there took wifey down and we went another look at the truck and it's just it's horse shit um the repair job is a is a Stevie Wonder effort, you know, I don't claim to be any kind of bodywork specialist, but the bumper doesn't fit properly. Um, there's still marks in the paint where they've, you know, you can still see the sanding lines. They've tried to feather out the, the where they painted it before it was all purple because it's a metallic. Um, it was too purple, uh, too, too sort of bluey. So they said they do a color match and try and change it again so it's now a bit more grayer but you can see like the feathering in the paint which is not good that's not how a metallic supposed to look um so i had enough of it yesterday so we've picked up the car we've got the land cruiser back uh and i've written a sort of shit email to the insurance company basically saying it's going to go to another body shop and be sorted out because it's just mess um, yeah, the paint's not good, the bumper doesn't fit properly. They've blamed it on a previous accident, which I didn't know anything about, apparently. But, you know, nothing fits properly. The headlight bulbs weren't even put in, so I had, like, the headlight aim on the floor. So I'm going to kick off with the insurance company. Um, and I'm not taking it back to fix autos in Swindon, because they are just uh, cowboys, absolute cowboys. And, and to top it all off, this is what really peeved me off. Um, they don't... Any, any, any person of any you know, dose of salts knows that if you're going to leave a vehicle for a long time, especially like two months, disconnect the batteries. Don't let them discharge completely. Um, you put it on a charger to charge the batteries back up if they need it. You shouldn't really jumpstart cars, um, especially not the new stuff. It doesn't like it at all. It's a sudden surge to the ECUs. They don't really like it. Um, but they let my batteries in the Land Cruiser. There's two of them in there. They went, both of them went dirt flat. Um, so they had a hell of a time trying to start the car and get it started. When they did, um, they parked it out in the public car park with the keys in it. And obviously I've got the Thinkware dash cams in all my cars. They left the vehicle unattended for two hours while it just sat there and idled trying to charge the batteries, which again, if you know your vehicles, running a car does not charge a battery. Driving a car charges a battery. So they left it on its own with the keys in it running for two hours uh, in the public car park. Um, and then brought it inside to work on it. Now, when they jump-started it, um, they also crossed the terminals around the wrong way, uh, which has uh, caused somewhat of an issue. <clears throat> so this was the unit that was in the Land Cruiser, this bad boy here. And just turn that down a second. We'll just get a power cord. It's always nice watching the people that are working on your car stand there and have a fag and they're even discussing about how the customer is not going to be happy about the job that they've done. Oh shit. And it's gonna, it's gonna kick off more. I'll tell you that when I see the insurance company. I'm gonna send it to another body shop and somebody else is gonna work on it. Sorry if I jolt the camera, I'm just trying to undo a lens, uh, a plug. There we go. Let's get this off. There's no such thing as a professional anymore, is there? Everyone's, everyone seems to be kind of, you know, 50% winging it. There's no, real, there's no real skilled persons anymore in this world, which I find very, very sad. I try new small businesses as and when I can, because I like the fact that it's, 
it's keeping society ticking over, but we are going to end up with this price uh, this 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 price war where the only thing that matters is a cheap deal and you're going to end up with you know 50% workmanship everywhere and everyone's going to be complaining and the houses are going to be falling apart so this is my head unit from the Land Cruiser as you can see it's now trashed it doesn't ever start it's constantly stuck in a boot loop it resets itself goes again you can hear all the gears inside whirring resets it's trying to load the sat nav can't it basically can't find its restart petition because the uh, the car has been jump started with the negative and the positive back to front so thanks fix autos in swindon good job really impressed um but they'll be buying me a new one i've already uh, i've already spoke to uh one of the guys down there the manager doesn't know about it yet because the manager's not there um but they will be buying me a new head unit um while i go and get my truck fixed by somebody else so all in all quite a quite a crazy uh crazy couple of weeks um i say i haven't had much chance to film i've done some odds and sods which you'll see when i chop the video together um but yeah other than that it's it's a lot of it has been getting me a down getting some work done getting ready for Halloween, Christmas, fireworks night, you know, all the stuff coming up. We've, we've put the Christmas lights up, or at least some of them. I've gone for some different stuff this year. Some kind of old school traditional bulbs. I don't want anything too flashy this year because the, uh, the ones I had last year, they just corroded so badly. They weren't really, uh, they weren't really waterproof. They weren't IP rated at all. Even though they said they're outdoor lights, they bloody weren't. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, battery charger. You know my little setup here? Um, my battery charger, um, the first one lasted, I think it was a Draper, was it a Draper battery? I think so. The first battery charger lasted probably six months and then it just ceased to work. Um, and, and it just tended to get really hot, it didn't actually do anything. I went over the road, they gave me a more powerful battery charger um, and obviously swallowed the cost for me as a bit of a sorry, which I appreciate. Um, but we had that one two weeks um, and it ended up charging the uh, soundboard at nearly 17 volts. Um, my little mini Rockford Fosgate amp, that's now gone into protect mode and I can't use it anymore. That battery I don't think is good to use anymore. And that's gone back. So it's been a, <laughs> it's been a full on week. <laughs> um, my, uh, my, as I say, my car crash of a life. It's all, it's all quite funny. Um, but that's in hand with, with motor parts over there. They are gonna get some stuff sorted for me. Um, and I will end up with, you know, a fixed amplifier or compensation or whatever, a new charger, we will see. Um, but that's it, I think. I am waffling on. We're gonna finish the video and go. Laters.